Well, I've been contributing to Dress for Success for years. Um, I got involved in this new campaign called Express Success uh, because Allergan, who are the maker of Botox Cosmetics, uh, gave $250,000 to Dress for Success. And uh, there's a website that uh, has allowed um, people that want to get interested and, and contribute to Dress for Success um, to know where to go locally. We've had events all over the country where we've had seminars with women that have been able to ask about Botox Cosmetic, but also ask about how they can be involved in the nonprofit Dress for Success. Uh, and the whole gist uh, of the campaign is how women can feel empowered and feel good about themselves. And it's been a, a huge hit. We've had rack relay races that we started out in the summertime in New York City. We've had events in San Francisco, um, Dallas, okay, Miami. Uh, the rack relay race were two different, we, we, we had it in Grand Central Station here in New York, and we had two different uh, mannequins, and we had teams. Uh, some were for magazines. Uh, I had a team. My mom had a team. We raced each other, and we had to dress our mannequins in clothes that were donated for Dress for Success, and then there was a panel of judges that would uh, uh, award who was the best dressed mannequin. So that was uh, the first event that uh, spearheaded the campaign. Right. My mannequin was fabulous, of course. Uh, I think it was a tweed uh, three-quarter length uh, jacket, uh, a beautiful black uh, a blouse, uh, uh, and, a, uh, and a skirt, and some fabulous heels and a bag. Uh, I've been contributing to Dress for Success for at least 10 years now, and uh, my own clothing, I pretty much do it on a yearly basis, clothing and, and suits that I haven't worn, uh, that I might have worn for an appearance, um, that I've outgrown, that aren't the right size. I've been doing this for years, so it was a wonderful opportunity to combine what I've already done and work with Allergan as well. Is there ever uh, an outfit that you just don't want to part with, but you do anyway? Um... Well, uh, no, I keep the ones that I don't want to part with and, and get rid of the ones that, uh, um, uh, that don't work anymore. But, you know, again, I'm not really a clothes horse, so uh, I don't have tons and tons of items that I'm holding on to. Now, you, you must get so many designer clothes from, from so many different types of designers. So is this, this is a good, a good thing in terms of working with Dress for Success, I would imagine. Well, I don't get a lot of clothing to keep. I borrow a lot of things from designers because once you wear it and it's been photographed, you don't really want to be seen in it again. So I don't have racks and racks of clothes that I've been given as gifts and, uh, and able to donate. But, uh, and most of the wardrobe and all the wardrobe that I wear uh, for Ugly Betty is owned by ABC Studios. So I can't give any of that away. I, don't even, I can't even borrow that stuff. So uh, it's all for my personal uh, collection, and, uh, but there certainly is plenty to give every year. Well, it's an opportunity for women to feel good about themselves and feel like themselves again. And particularly with Dress for Success, these are women that have had hardships in life, uh, whether it be hard times, abuse, abandonment. These are women that have been in the workforce that need to uh, go back into it and get not only the training and the skills that they might have missed uh, when they were out of it, but also feel good about themselves again, feel like themselves again. And with the support system that they do have addressed for Success Plus, getting a chance to get new clothing, it allows them to have that great first impression, nail that interview, and then gives them the skills to maintain that job. Uh, Allergan called me because um, I think they knew that I was a, a user of Botox Cosmetic. Um, in my first scene as, as Ugly Betty four years ago, uh, my character was injected with, you know, fakely, but it was injected with Botox by her assistant in, uh, in her office, which is something I do not recommend. I recommend everyone go to a doctor. But uh, Allergan knew that I used Botox because I was candid about it in interviews. and. Uh, they thought it was a great idea for me, not only being a user, but also um, someone that's been in involved with Dress for Success for years. Will there be free Botox parties? <laughs> uh, no free Botox parties, but uh, the seminars that we've had, uh, we've answered a lot of questions. We've had wonderful advice. Dr. Doris Day, who works with Allergan, is a phenomenal dermatologist, and she's there to answer any questions that women might have. And also, if you go to the website, expresssuccesscampaign.com, there's a list of uh, local uh, physicians that are there that, are, uh, that can give treatments, and uh, so there, there's no guesswork. 
Uh, I know that Allergan has given $250,000. Uh, I don't know what the tally is recently uh, with the people that have contributed, uh, but uh, that's a significant amount of money. And now you also have this new album. It's your lucky 13th, so uh, talk about that. Well, I mean, it, it's... Uh, it's not actually my 13th album, but it's in terms of uh, my solo albums, it's around uh, six or seven there. But it, uh, it came out in June called The Real Thing. It's on Concord Jazz label, and um, it's, it's a, a great combination of jazz and R&B and some Latin sounds, and um, I, I love it. I'm, you know, I'm just lucky to be still in the game. My first album came out in 1988, and I'm still here. Well, looking forward to hearing this, Vanessa, and good luck with Dress for Success. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining okay. me. Bye-bye.